You feel guilty about everything. When we all lived in huts and wore furs, we worried over the simple things. Food, water, whether animals would come and eat us in the night. Now we have supermarkets, bottled water, and 38 caliber home security. So what keeps us awake at night? More often than not, guilt. If only I had acted differently. If only I hadn't said that. If only I'd said something. You beat yourself up with your past. Don't blame yourself. Blame the world. Blame God. Blame me. Okay, this is my favorite. Let me introduce some friends of mine. This is King Harold. His daughter, the chaste Celestine. A prince called Wilhelm. And a bull. He doesn't have a name. Prince Wilhelm is passionately in love with Celestine, but she does not love him. One day, Wilhelm comes to the king and asks for Celestine's hand in marriage. Celestine begs the king not to marry her to Wilhelm, but the king ignores her pleas. Royal protocol means he must say yes to the match. They are married, and Wilhelm takes Celestine back with him to his kingdom. That night, he attempts to consummate the marriage, but the distraught Celestine flees. She runs from the safety of the castle and across a field, ignoring the sign which warns of danger. In that field is a bull, who, seeing the girl, charges her. She falls under his hooves and is killed instantly. What I want you to do is line the players up according to how guilty they are of Celestine's death. Whose fault was it? At the left, most culpable. To the right, most innocent. You want to hear that again? No thanks, Kipora <laughs> Gibora. I'm good. Yes. Please, tell me. At least the default isn't yes or anything. So, you get to arrange all these little guys on mm -hmm. a line, depending on who you think is the biggest <laughs> dick in the story or not. And they kind of stick to each other a little strangely. I think the prince is the dick, dick dickinest dick. Look at him go. And Man. I just don't like the bull. <laughs> Throw off the table. Fuck him. <clears throat> and make a statue of you. I think you're guilty. <laughs> Poor Wilhelm. You think if he really loved her, he would never have forced the marriage. Poor Harold. You felt he should have ignored protocol. Poor Bull. You couldn't ignore the facts. He was the one who killed her. Poor Celestine. She didn't have to run, right? I find the best cure for guilt is to never get caught in the first place. Let's continue. Well, that was enlightening. Well... Wake up. Hey, wake up. <laughs> That's fine. I'm just gonna steal all your stuff while I'm here. I hope you don't mind. I'm gonna take your pills. It's a nice Sanchonic uh, VHS you have there. She looks like she's fine. I'd like to remind people, and for people who didn't see it in the thread, that we're not... This is, this is our destination, Simmons Street. It has been for about half the game now. Mm -hmm. We started here when we came out of the hospital with Lisa. Okay. And if we had gone the proper way, <laughs> this is how we would have gone. And Harry didn't know when he offered to walk Lisa home that that way was blocked. But he was like, oh, it's on my way. Yeah, here's where we're going now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Why? So let's get going. Why? Mm. Like this little ditty in it, the it's on my way anyway. It, Let me walk you home. No, it's not, Harry. Can you not go in a straight line just because like like the the road was, is just gone? That happened in the first was, game. He, he was counting on going through the mall. He wanted to stop off there anyway for some stuff. What in the world is Super gonna tell you? You don't live here. This is the best. I love this call. Great call. It also glitches. Building superintendent. Oh, Lord. Sorry, sorry, my kids have been acting up. Haven't had much sleep. What can I do for you? I'm sorry if I woke you. No, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. 
What can I do? I don't know. I guess... I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Harry, Harry, I'd like to take a different tack, if I might. Um, what, what would you say your uh, raison d'etre is? Your, your reason for existence? Um, I don't to follow the rules. Calling people, hanging up. I love the game Ding Dong Ditch. <laughs> but with phones. <laughs> ah, so that's one of my favorite phone calls, just because he doesn't even know why you called. You can try that door, it's locked. Also, oh. I like how Lisa's door got magically unlocked without her unlocking it, which is cool. Mind powers. Back into uh, the Winter Wonderland. Okay. Which is, uh, this is the block that's filled with novelty stores that have giant, uh, things on them. Mm. <laughs> on the facades of them. You know. That one was not was a, like, a alcohol shop. This is the only one Cafe Noir. It doesn't have some goofy on the front. Listen, we saw the high school. We know the level of education these children <laughs> in town are getting. So, clearly, it is, it behooves the town to have things labeled without words. Like this. Secure home. Wow. Oh, I guess they sell locks there. And I like I like to think this is an homage to Home Improvement. Because who doesn't like that show? <laughs> it's Tim's Tim's tool warehouse or whatever. So this is an alternate path that I didn't take uh, during the blind run because it kind of looks like it's not an alternate path. It's kind of sneaky. Hmm. Yeah, I didn't. I saw that gate. I didn't think you could climb over that. No. These people, uh, they really need to get the roof checked. <laughs> that, that's a problem. It's just a, it's just a painting. Just like oblivion. It would rain inside all the time. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I like this bassy whatever. Yeah, I don't mind this song. I like this song. Jazzy. Oh. Hey, it's Michelle. She's still waiting for her boyfriend. Well, we just got her contact information, so let's do the nice guy thing and call her. This gives you friendly PI if you call her back after getting a text message from her here. Harry? Everything okay? No. Everything is so strange. Harry? Sorry, ignore me. I'm tired, it's been a long day. Your John show up yet? No, I've got a hundred excuses, but no John. Stick in there, kid. Sure, you too. Harry, what's up? I'm on my way to Simmons Street. Taking longer than I thought. And you took time out to make sure I was okay? Thanks, Harry. No John, then? Not yet. I've half a mind to change out of this dress into something more comfortable. I'll give him till midnight, then I turn back into a pumpkin. Good luck. Let me know when you get home, okay? Sure. That was a nice conversation. That was the first conversation he's had on the phone that wasn't him being confused or Hanging up. completely refusing help for no apparent reason. <laughs> Call back later, I'm sleeping. <laughs> Thanks, Dahlia. Sleeping with the fishes? In the <gasps> ocean? Oh my god. She says other stuff too, but it's, it's like, depending on your PI, but I don't... It's all dumb. And it's just like, ugh, I don't like this phone, ugh. <laughs> so, oh no, sex PI, look away. Wait, 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 put your butt on it. Too late. Oh, no, wait. Uh, I like to think it's a butt in a bra to confuse somebody. <laughs> <laughs> it's a guy. Big prank. Big office prank. Guy with a shaved ass. <laughs> grab it. <laughs> Harry, grab it. Oh, oh what is that? The peanut. Oh no, it's a synthetic femur. It's a dog toy. Oh. Looks like a penis a little. <sighs> Just a little bit like a penis. But. Eh, this is a boring little place. I didn't know you could go through this door for a long while. <laughs> Whoa, oh. Where was the. Oh, it's just a bunch of shadows from my flashlight. Oh. Okay. Can't see shit because of my flashlight. <laughs> This is my favorite comment Harry makes, I think. Dangerous things, forklifts. <laughs> I don't know why. 
That's so wise. He's had experience, I think. My dad was killed by a forklift. Uh, there's nothing really to look at, so I decided let's call Sybil, and I accidentally called Dahlia. But Oops. Let's catch up on Sybil. How you doing? Where the hell are you? Are you still in the hospital? Harry? Damn it, stop screwing with me! <laughs> Harry! Harry, come on! You cunt. I imagine him just making the douchiest face when he's when he's calling her right there. Make like any noise into the phone. Just even. just mouth breeze in there. She'd know it's you. <laughs> she would. I just wanna drive one of these when I we was saw a kid. Sybil last. She dressed us, right? And then that was it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then she froze and then she froze that was last time. Okay. I don't know how we escaped from her like how she perceived us escaping from her grasp, but that happened, so. Well... And then we don't have uh, Lisa's number yet. No. Just gonna leave her to... Uh, uh, yeah. To be all mm -hmm. convalescent by herself. Yeah, we don't care about her. She's fine. She'll be fine. I'm sure nothing untoward will happen to poor Lisa. Take that bike. I know, right? Oh, this bike doesn't work. None of the vehicles work in Silent Hill. Except that forklift, but... Never again. <laughs> Never again. I like this because it doesn't rhyme. Breaks your heart. Short, ought, one, and gone. Hmm. Those really don't rhyme. I was thinking maybe the first letters of each line would mean something, but it was uh, banal. An, ac an acrostic. Gameplay King. Now. Go play some video games. Can you go in there? This is the mall. This is our destination. This is what our phone said. Go play the video we games. Should go Go through here. Oh. Telephone time. How did she get my number? I didn't give her my number. Spooky. Lisa? Harry. Oh, Harry. I don't feel well. What's wrong? I woke up. I had such a terrible dream. Blood everywhere. Oh, God, Harry. Try to stay calm, Lisa. I'm coming. Please hurry. I... Loves bad dreams. Well, let's do the nice guy thing and call her back. I'm sure she's not busy. Hear that piano? Things, things have taken a turn, Harry. Lisa, hurry! Hurry! Oh. Boo! Me so horny! <laughs> Lisa? Oh God, Harry! What have you? I feel very wrong. Harry, you've got to come back. Keep talking, Lisa. What's wrong? Oh, God. Oh, Harry. Lisa, I'm coming back. She dies so sexy. <laughs> Man. No, I'm definitely coming back. <laughs> <laughs> if you insist, lady, who? So you programmed your number into my phone while I was in the bathroom. Lisa. Uh oh, okay. So screw it, let's go to the mall anyway. Oh, damn it. Nope. Shrug. No. How, how do doors open? How do they work? Harry just doesn't know. No dogs. No, okay, dogs taking a shit. No shitting dogs. Great. So, uh, oh, oh, oh! What was that? I asked you when we get to see another one of these. We've been inside for so long. Oh, man. <laughs> Straight to Facebook. <laughs> <laughs> Making that freaky guy proud. Yeah, yeah. Before I read, my wife doesn't believe me. I thought it said my wife beats me. <laughs> <laughs> this is unrelated to the UFO uh, stuff. I just need to confess to somebody. My wife beats the shit out of me every day. I feel really close to you. <laughs> uh, okay. Okay. This oh. money's good. Uh, you must have good credit. I, I don't hate you. It's just we need to have security cameras because sometimes people steal stuff. Not over here, though, in the elevator lobby area, but... I don't think you needed to get down onto your knees for that, Harry. He likes it. <laughs> Going backwards through the... 
way that I went in the blind run, I think. Sewing station, what? Yeah, I don't really understand what this is exactly. Okay, and we're outside. Mm-hmm. This is the other chunk of the street we didn't go down. Pretty bland. But this, this is important. Don't ask why yet. Hmm. Are you gonna have to use those colors to solve the puzzle? Shh. Don't ask. <laughs> <laughs> How tiny the street lights are here. They're so tiny. Oh, Lisa, what do you want? Take a, Garland. Uh, only, Garfield. <laughs> the only person only who lives person here. Only person who lives here. Aside from the super. Lisa? No! Don't move. No. This isn't what... I said don't move. Stand up and step away from the girl. This isn't what it looks like. Stop talking. What have you done? She was in an accident. I didn't do this. Accident? Shut the hell up. You've been feeding me bullshit all night. You bastard. I didn't... Shut up! I know you're not Harry Mason! Zoom in, pull out. Yeah. That's so, great. That happened. Well, thanks for saving me, Ice World. <laughs> yeah, right? Thanks. I'll call you next time I'm in trouble with the cops. Oh, I gave her bell bottom pants. <laughs> Take her gun. So what happens if he gave her the wrong pill? Lisa? Oh god. Don't move. No. This isn't what- I said don't move. Stand up and step away from the girl. Oh. Anyway, okay. this whole- thing with Lisa dying is just to be an homage to Silent Hill 1, where uh, Lisa Garland did indeed die with this exact sort of blood pattern. Hmm. And it was actually meaningful, unlike what happened in this game, in my opinion. So, so does she have no other point in this game other than Absolutely that? Absolutely none. I don't know why she's in this game. This is one of the things that really bothers me about this game. Mm. Also, my cell phone just gave me a new waypoint arbitrarily. Go here. Okay, cell phone, I do what you say. I don't ask questions. The Rorschach reached in your pocket and, and programmed it into your phone while you weren't <laughs> looking. It's sneaky like that. <laughs> That's probably exactly what happened. This place is actually really cool because the architecture is very uh, strange. Frank Lloyd Wrighty. <laughs> yeah, this place looks a little more interesting than usual. It's kind of weird because it's halfway towards uh, spooky and halfway towards an unfinished construction site. Hmm. But I like it. The other worlds kind of like get gradually more abstract as you go through the game, actually. So this is when they first start to be like, wow, what's with all this useless geometry poking out of these buildings? Oh, okay. I'm not using that as an excuse for there to be a train yard next to a hospital, though. That is inexcusable. <laughs> that makes no sense. It's just convenient. I don't know what your issue is. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, the so, this ladies. This is us going into the mall. That's so sexy. I know, I'm trying so hard to get him to stop being sexy, but <laughs> I can't help myself, apparently. That one has a weird face. I should have froze it. Oh, I saw it. Looks that. Like it's got, looks like it's got like a big eyeball coming out of its face. Oh, or brain or, or something. Yeah, brain and he's bleeding or something. I don't, I don't know what that means. I've never seen that guy before. I think he was in the blind room, but I didn't notice him. Hmm. But, oh, but he's not they here, appeared yeah. in this one, too. I think there was the one I fell on the floor. I don't know. But I'll, I'll maybe make a freeze frame, put it in the thread or something, because he was, he was pretty cool looking. He was new. I don't know what that means for my PI or... <laughs> That's just some guy in the mall. Some weird people hang out at the mall. Playing with your mind. The game's playing you. 
<laughs> By doing things you don't expect it to do. Oh, goodness. Such as not adhering to the rules it gives out to you. <laughs> what was with all the squeaky noises though? It's happening. Squeaky, squeaky, it's scary. Squeaky, squeaky, squeak. Speaking of scary, oh. it's a cartoon mascot. Oh, I'm in my fruit loops. <laughs> So you literally have to follow his nose. If you don't go into that door that his beak is pointing at, you're gonna go in a big fucking loop. And oh. that was what made me extremely lost in the blind run. And it took two videos, I two or three videos, oh. to get out of this place. Wow. That's it. It's not even like a real puzzle, colors or anything. No, no, no. Shh. <laughs> oh, I think I know what this is. So we went to the roof again. They're getting they're getting fancy with roofs. Boy. You can, uh, see those things right there? You can push those over if a guy's chasing you. Oh. Those, like, radio tower pokey things. Pokey. Environment's really cool here. We don't have time to check it out squeaky, right now. Squeaky, 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 squeaky. It's part of the friggin' music. It's a Kiriyamaoka. When he gets confused and he doesn't know how to make a song interesting, he puts something scraping against something else in it. <laughs> <laughs> then he's just gonna give up and do, like, balloons squeaking together. This part is cool. There's uh, all these tiles on the floor floating in midair. I like that. I like that a lot. This would have been neat if it happened earlier in the game. It's still neat, but it wouldn't have been better if it happened earlier. Yeah. Voicemail about gumballs. You uh, gonna be home when we get back? Sure. Sure. No, she's fine. Can I have some bubble gum? Oh, uh, sure. Here. She wanted some gum. It's hardly spoiling her. Wait. No, I don't want those colors. I want my favorite colors. What are your favorite colors? Mom knows. I'm sure she does. You hear that? Yeah, well, she won't tell me. The mascot? The cartoon bird? Okay. Like this, sweetie? Yes! So they expect you to go back out in the other world and observe that toucan and then come back and mem memorize it. So I was right. Old Blue. Look at Old Blue. Yes. I love Old Blue. Well, I'm Old Blue. Oh, hi guys, I'm Old Blue. Come take a ride on Old Blue. <laughs> so yeah, there's nothing else interesting here. They expect you to go back outside. Oh. Fuck that shit. I took a picture. <laughs> Examined a picture. It's purple and pink and red and yellow. <laughs> What a toucan. His name is Tukey the Toucan, which is very creative. <laughs> I'm not lying, his name is Tukey the Toucan. So this is the weirdest gumball machine I've ever seen in my life, right? So, how are you? I mean... Oh. What? Oh, that makes sense. It's a vacuum-powered gumball yeah. machine. Have you ever heard of such a thing? Sucked it right on up. No. Neither. I was stuck here in the blind run because... I've never even- the concept of a gumball machine where you can choose your gumball is a terrible business idea. Terrifying. That's where you get all the money from. Come on, save some for later. I'll keep this one for mom. That's a great idea. Come on, last one of the escalators is it. So, uh, if anyone's ever seen that kind of gumball machine where you can actually choose your flavor of gum, that is crazy, because they make so much money because you get keep getting the licorice ones and the lime ones and all that crap. You want the pink ones. They all taste the same, though. Well, the pink ones taste like strawberry. Most gumball machines, it's just a, it's just a color. It's not a flavor. The red ones taste like cherry. That shit matters to a kid. It tastes like that because you think it will. <laughs> I'm with the experience. An oasis. So, we'll taste next episode. Real voice. <laughs> next episode, we're going to the mall. Oh boy! See you guys at the mall. I can't wait. I go shopping for all my Rorschach buddies. 